first day of school. First day of school. We we don't that to do now. Yep. Yay. My my babe. Maybe I don't want to leave you. Hi. <laughs> First day of school. First day of school. What are you most excited about this year? Um, everything. What do you want to be when you grow up? I have no idea. Anymore. Atlas, what are you most excited about with school? Eating my lunch. Eating your lunch? And what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, your dad. Like Dad? Yeah. I'm so excited. I want to go out right now. You did that to me, my feet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Bye. drop the kids off on the first day of school. They're very excited mm. about it. And we're excited because we are nearing the end of our A-frame build. It's it's the final it's, it's stretch. A, it's the final push, man. Finishing work. So we're excited to show you guys how far we've come. Let's Heck go yeah. check it out. This is the great room. We have started doing the tongue and groove on the siding, we're doing tongue and groove on all of our angled walls. Then all of our straight walls, we're doing drywall. And we haven't painted it yet, but the color will be very similar to this. We're actually using the same color that we used on our van. It's Greek Villa. So we wanted to do like an ode to Edison by painting the walls the same color as our first van. We chose to do black cabinets. We just had them measured out, I believe, yesterday for our quartz countertops. So those should be coming in in a couple of weeks. Really excited to see what it turns out to look like. Let's move back to the bedrooms. Well, I guess we could start with the bathroom, right? This is the downstairs bath. We're getting tiling started today. Right here is Everly's bedroom. Her bed will be here. And then we had this really fun idea that I don't know if we mentioned in our previous video, but we're creating a secret passageway between the two kids' rooms. So on Everly's side, we're doing an armoire. Like a wardrobe. A wardrobe. And when you go, you can go through the wardrobe to Atlas's room. Do you want to go through the wardrobe to Atlas's room? Let's do it. Woohoo! And this is Atlas's room. Atlas's room will be more kid-like because obviously he's three. We have a lofted bed um, that's going to look like a little cabin. And so we'll have the little deck right here that leads into the cabin um, with some cafe lights, making it look really outdoorsy. And then it will go up to an even higher little tree house. So I want to paint a tree on this wall and then have um, like a netted area right here at the top of the tree. It leaves his room, the whole floor space, open. And so we'll do some turf, it looks like grass. I bought a light fixture that looks like a big cloud. And so his room's like, you know, it's like being outside and having his own little house, which I think would be really fun. And then having all the floor space, the kids can kind of go back and forth between the two rooms and have a really fun place to play. Next, we're gonna go upstairs. Follow me. We'll do a DIY cable railing, for lack of better words, from on both sides of, of the loft area. And then I want to turn this into a literal book nook. So doing bookshelves and books all filling this whole space. And then a little hanging egg chair so I can sit here and read in my egg chair. Anyway, that's the vision I have for right here. Here's our vanity. It will be inside the bathroom though. It will not be in the hallway, but I'm glad they moved it out because looks like they've got everything set to do tiling. Holy cow, I am so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm so ready for this, you guys. I'm gonna sit here and shave my legs. Can't wait to like sit down and shave my legs. Cause you don't sit and shave your legs in a public shower. 
or outside on a bunch of pine cones. Um, so for our upstairs bathroom, we're doing green vertical tiles on the walls and on the seat. And then for the tile on the floors, let me show you. I have this idea to kind of go with the A-frame theme. Let's see. And then we'll have a little triangle flooring in here. Now welcome to our bedroom. Whoa, all right. Our bed is also in place already because we had to move it out of our shipping container for the party we just had. Our, our door here opens up and we typically leave it open like this. Oh, it's a really beautiful day. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard our chickens in a while. They're okay. We have seven chickens. I just found out we have two roosters. So that might become a problem. Goodbye for now. Bye for now. See you guys in a bit. I am here in our bus, which is where we're living until the house gets built. And then once the house is built, this bus is going to um, go along with our tiny music studio for um, a place for people to stay when they come out to record in our studio or to do live sessions um, or come out to use the creative retreat in some other way. Um, but anyway, the bus is just about completed. We have a few more final touches to add, and especially once we're out of it, it won't, you know, be filled with dishes, etc. Um, but anyway, kids are on day two of school. It seems like they're loving it. And here on the property today, we have someone who is sanding all of the floors. We also have our exterior siding here, and Mars is working on getting that all finished, putting on a nice sealant. It's a nice cedar siding, nickel gap siding. Um, I chose a light pine stain to go onto it. I went and looked at a bunch of swatches and this was the lightest one we could find and actually it's turning out really pretty. And so I think I'm gonna really be happy with the final result once everything's on. So we have a lot happening here this week. Also, I think tiling might start going in this week as well. Very exciting. Let's go check it out. All right. Downstairs bathroom. Oh my God, yes. Obviously have the red guard up to start on the wall tile next week. Oh my God. Yeah, that's what I wanted. It looks so good. And then of course we have the red guard up for the wall tiles, hopefully next week. Yes, oh my gosh. You guys, I am so stoked on the bathroom tile. They got so much done this week, I'm so excited. It really um, makes me hopeful that this project is actually coming to an end and all the finishing work is happening so fast. So super excited. Obviously like finishing work is my favorite thing. Um, Cause you finally start to see the vision that you've had, had in your head coming to fruition. So super excited to see um, what we get done this next week. So this is gonna bring us to the end of this week's video. Thank you guys. For those of you who have followed along with us in the past, thank you for hanging in there. I know it's been a minute since we posted a video, but you know, we've had lots of life going on, but we're excited to get back at it and to share this journey with you guys. For those of you who are new, please click subscribe. We'd love for you to follow along on this journey of us building out our creative retreat. See you next week. Bye. Thank you.